Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and it's unboxing time. Always a fun time when you're unboxing something new, um, especially when it's a pre-order knife that you've been waiting a while for, and you've been excited for, and that is the case here. This is a Vero Isotope. Ugh, isotope. <laughs> this is the first integral knife from Vero Engineering, and... I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm hoping that because my excitement level is really high that I'm not disappointed that it happens sometimes. But uh, yeah, this was supposed to arrive yesterday and it didn't. And that made yesterday a hard day. It just got delayed for no reason. And then just now it popped up on my porch and I am pumped. So I'm going to go ahead and bust into it. We're going to take a look at it. And then ultimately there will be a First impressions and a full review. This will just be the unboxing. But uh, yeah, this is the first integral knife design from Vero Engineering. An integral basically means it's all, the handle is milled from one single piece of titanium. It's not two scales with standoffs or a backspacer. It's just a piece of titanium that has a lock bar cut into it and the whole nine yards, right? And I've owned a few different uh, integrals over time. And I like them. I think they're fun. They're extra exciting compared to other knives. All right, we're in. So, in typical Vero fashion, we've got a Ziploc baggie with, oh, okay, yeah, so HSBCF. I got hand satin with end cut carbon fiber, black carbon fiber, there we go. Hand satin, black carbon fiber, that's what that stands for. Anyways, sends it in a plastic baggie with the knife, then in a pouch with a patch of the knife on it and some little Italian candies as well and a sticker. So, actually two stickers, look at that, I got lucky. Two Vero stickers, three little Italian candies. Let's see, we got fruit and berry medley, two fruit and berry medleys and one also says it's fruit and berry medley, but it's in an orange wrapper. All right, anyway, three little Italian candies. Definitely gonna eat those. And yeah, he does these custom patches for each pouch. So the model of the knife that you get is represented on the front of the pouch with a patch specifically made for it, which is really, really cool. So as you can see, that is what the isotope is about to look like outside of the package, but it's literally this cool Velcro patch that's stuck on there. All right, we'll see if uh, if my expectations are met or if they were too high or if they are exceeded. Time will tell. In here we've got the Vero little cloth as usual, the knife, oh, that's a big boy. And we have an ownership card. Let's see, isotope, uh, the run is first, designer Joseph Vero, steel M390, finish hand satin. Um, handle is black and cut carbon fiber and the hardware is all raw. So that's the spec I picked. There were a few options uh, like red and cut carbon fiber was another one. There was micarta which I think ended up not happening and he had to switch those to like marbled carbon. The marbled carbon looks pretty sweet from what I've seen. And then was there another one? I don't know. This is the one I wanted. I wanted the black and cut carbon fiber. What that means is basically this carbon goes directionally like, typically you'd be looking at the carbon like this. <laughs> um, like the sheet is cut in a different direction. So the layers of the fiber that they lay for carbon fiber are stacked. And then typically you're looking at it from like the face of the stack, right? Now instead you're looking at it from the side, which is pretty cool. So it's like this grain that runs this way. I've heard that if you oil this, then it makes it really pop too. So I might try that. Lighting in here is interesting at the moment. I apologize, but yeah. So black end cut carbon fiber. And then to go with that, I really wanted to do the hand rub satin finish because now the grain of like the the sanding on the blade is going the same direction as that end, end cut carbon fiber. I just thought it would look really cool. These are numbered. This one is number 213. You can see it there on the flipper tab. Now, there's a couple of things that have made me really excited about this model. One, it's an integral. It's the nicest knife he's made so far, arguably. Um, and so that made me excited, potentially. But more importantly, there are a couple of features on Vero knives that I've been a little bit critical of over time. I've reviewed four different Vero models. The um, 
Impulse, the Synapse, the Impulse Mini, and the Axon. My favorite that I've had so far has been the Axon, but I've actually sold my Axon and my Impulse Mini. The Impulse and the Synapse were both loners. And something that came across in every single Vero review I've done is the clip has bothered me. The clip used to just stick straight up and didn't have a plateau at the end, and it never had enough clearance underneath for me to comfortably get it in and out of a pocket. So here, you'll see the clip now has this flat spot, plateau. See how that feels in hand? I can I say with some degree of confidence, I think that's going to be an improvement. And then underneath, he says he's increased the clearance. It does still look pretty tight, if I'm being honest, but... Hopefully it's at least a little more clearance so that if I'm wearing jeans and I want to put this in my pocket, I can put it in with one hand. That's important to me on a knife. Pocket clips are designed to go in and out of pocket. That's why they're there. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. Time will tell. But the clip does look good as always. It's a gorgeous looking knife. I haven't even opened it yet. And man, um, the fact that it's an integral really makes it feel different too. That's usually the case on integrals with me. They just, for some reason, they feel a little bit extra. Another thing that I was originally kind of confused about on his knives, and I've come to learn there's a specific way to flip them to make it not bother you, but on most of his knives, where you end up with uh, pulling the flipper tab down, there's usually a little like void that's machined out right underneath, like where your thumb want, or where your uh, pointer finger wants to land when you're using the flipper. And that's just always been uncomfortable for me unless I specifically flipped it in a way that kept my finger out of that spot. But this is a nice smooth spot to land, so let's give it a try. We've got the flipper up here. Oh, that was garbage. No, that's not good. <laughs> All right, it might just need to break in. We'll see. Smooth on closure. Yeah, okay. I think it just was maybe gritty that first time. Detent feels a little bit on the lighter side. Maybe you're meant to keep a finger on the lock bar. Uh, I don't know. I might have to tune this a little. It's centered. The detent just feels light, but it's deploying. Let's see how it feels for a middle finger flick, because that might totally redeem itself anyways. Yeah, it feels good. This detent does feel lighter than I've felt on any of his models that I can recall. It also feels just a little bit like it might just need to be cleaned. We'll see. Maybe I'll end up tweaking it, disassembling it or something. But yeah, I like that if I do land here, it's not annoying. And then typically, yeah, you're supposed to kind of pull back and off the knife. That's what's making me fail is when I'm trying to do it like another Vero is pull off of the knife. Whereas if I land like a normal flipper, it's not failing. So that's interesting. All right, let's see, in hand, it's a big boy, but it doesn't feel crazy huge in hand. It feels large, but not insane. Big blade, kind of a clip point style here. All right, we'll see. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try tuning this. See if I can, even maybe just some pivot adjustment might help. If I flip down into the frame, like a more traditional flipper, not like other Vero's, then it feels pretty good. If I try to flip off of the knife, <laughs> it doesn't want to deploy all the way. The middle finger flick is pretty good. The detent feels almost like it's supposed to be middle finger flicked more than it's supposed to be flipped. But that's not the case, it's a flipper. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just tweak it a tiny bit, see. See if I can get that more to my preferences. It does also seem like maybe even some of the like schmutz from in the pouch <laughs> got into here because there's there's been little like black dusty flecks coming off of this, so it may just need to be cleaned. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's out of the box. The hand rub looks gorgeous. The carbon looks really cool. The construction looks really nice. The pocket clip is a lot less hot spotty. I'll say that right off the bat. I can still feel where the pocket clip ends, but it's not sharp. It's just like, I can, I can feel that it's there, but it's not poking me, so that's good. All right, there it is, Vero Isotope. More info to come. I'll have my first impressions done relatively soon, within the next day or two. And uh, yeah, you'll see that pop up 
when it's ready. Thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll see you on the next one.